I've always struggled with procrastination, especially in the morning. I always find excuses to postpone doing things. Like I'll say, I gotta walk the dog, or I'll just grab a snack, make a coffee, let me check my email real quick. And before I know it, the whole day is gone, and what I meant to do didn't happen at all. One of two things happens then. Either it gets pushed to the tomorrow that never comes, or I have to grumpily do it in, in the evening when I could have been relaxing. Now, I've known this is a habit that I need and want to get rid of for a long time, but somehow I just never got around to actually doing something about it. So a couple weeks ago, I decided it was time and I decided to start small because that's the thing with habits. If you try to make massive changes overnight, they probably won't stick for the long term. So if you struggle with habits like I do, I highly recommend the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. I've read it quite a few times and I always find gold nuggets. Now, when I first got started as a freelancer, I massively rebelled against a routine of any kind, especially in the morning, because I hate setting an alarm. I mean, that's one of the perks of having your own business, right? Is, is no one tells you what to do or when you have to be somewhere or what time you gotta do something. So I really embraced that and didn't really get into a routine until about eight years later. And it's only just occurred to me recently that a morning routine could actually be beneficial because when the end of the day comes, I always think, oh, I wish I had done that first thing in the morning. I wish I had done this first thing in the morning. So I'm going to walk you through my new morning routine, completely inspired by the Atomic Habits book. But before we go behind the scenes of my morning routine, I want to talk about a particular section of the book and it's called habit stacking because habit stacking is exactly what I am doing. The whole idea of stacking habits is that you take something you already do every day without thinking about it, like brushing your teeth or showering, and you stack it with something else that you want to start doing. So for example, let's pretend the habit you want to start is to go for a 20 minute walk every day. And let's say the first thing you do every morning is jump in the shower. So one way you could start your new walking habit is put on your walking clothes as soon as you wake up before you get in the shower. Rule number one of starting a new habit is it needs to be easy. So if you're already in your walking clothes, it becomes much more likely that you're actually gonna walk out the door and do it. I've been testing this for a couple weeks now and it works really well for me. So in a minute, I will take you behind the scenes so you can see my actual morning routine. But first, let me explain my thought process. I identified the things that I wasn't doing on a regular basis that I wish that I was doing. In my case, it was emptying the dishwasher and working out. Then I looked at all the habits I was already doing and tried to figure out where I could stack the new habits into what I was already doing, like making the bed, brushing my teeth, and so on. Okay. Are you ready to join me on my morning routine? Okay, if you have known me for any period of time or have followed me for any amount of time, you know how much I love, love, love this star robe. It is soft, it's comfy, it represents everything I love about being an entrepreneur and working from home. However, I've found that it has stopped me from being more productive in the mornings because I end up just being in my robe all day and I don't do all the things that I wanna do. So this robe had to go as part of my new morning routine. So now instead of getting up and putting on my robe and procrastinating and, and being lazy all morning, as soon as I get up, the very first thing I do is I put my gym clothes on and then I'm ready to go. I don't know about you, maybe this is just me, but the hardest thing for me about working out is just putting the gym clothes on, which is bizarre and I, a little crazy, but that is what works for me. So if I'm already wearing them, it's kind of, okay, well then it makes sense. I will just work out. And then the very next thing I do is make the bed. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to make our bed. It's nothing super fancy, uh, but I was always making my bed before. So what I've done is I stacked my new preferred habit of working out um, ahead of the thing that I was already doing, making the bed. Okay, next thing I do, and this is something that I always do every single morning, so this was another good opportunity to stack those habits, is I come into the kitchen and I, I do two things. I take my mushrooms, which legal mushrooms, uh, and I drink my potions. Let me show you what that is. Okay, mushrooms. <laughs> um, I, every single morning, I have a, a big thing of water and I take mushrooms. This, they're in baggies because I was traveling. Uh, but this is lion's mane and cordyceps. And I've been doing that for probably about a year now. Absolutely love it. Uh, highly recommend it if you're into kind of that 
natural sort of thing, um, as am I. And of course, I always love to drink a ton of water first thing in the morning. Then, after I have my mushrooms, I then move on to something that my husband likes to call my potion. Now what this is, <laughs> is a combination of aloe vera juice and um, kefir. Kefir, because A, it's good for you. It's got a lot of good uh, probiotics and, and things like that. Um, but it kind of hides the taste of this, which as you can imagine, aloe vera juice, uh, it tastes about as it sounds. It tastes like juice from an aloe vera plant, which is a little bit weird. But when you mix it together, you can't really tell. So it's really, really good for my gut. I have gut kind of tummy issues. So I do all these things first thing. And um, those were habits that I already had. Now, the next habit I'm going to do, which was a real sticking point for me. Um, I am stacking because I didn't want to do it. I don't like doing it. I always waited till the evening to do it. But now, after I have my mushrooms and my potion, I just move on to this next thing and it gets done. Okay, so what is this horrible next thing that I, I don't like doing and I always put off and I always wait until the evening? It is emptying the dishwasher, <laughs> which I know is not a big thing, but I would get to the end of the day and I still hadn't emptied the dishwasher from the morning from the night before and there were dishes in the sink and I would get to the end of the day and I would just feel like, ah, oh, if I couldn't even do that, like it was not a successful productive day. So it was a real kind of thing in my head and I just don't really like emptying the dishwasher, but it's, it doesn't take that long. It probably takes a minute and a half if that. So now every single morning after I do my, I, I, get into my workout clothes, I make the bed, I do my uh, mushrooms, my potion, and then I just empty the dishwasher. That's just the next thing that I do. And then I move on to the next routine for the morning, which is breakfast. Okay, so I have a couple things that I'll do for breakfast. Sometimes it'll be like full eggs and, and everything. Um, sometimes it will be something simple like a cereal. Um, recently, I've really been enjoying muesli. And then I add this flax and chia and coconut. However, this morning, I thought it would go a little fancy and I am doing avocado on toast. So I've got my avocado here. I'm going to mash it up. I've got my toast, uh, my sourdough toast. So that is going to be my breakfast. Okay, next up, I'm going to take Lua for a walk. I think it's a little windy, so we'll see what it's like, but here we go, let's see. Lou, you ready? <laughs> yep, it's windy and chilly. Woo! Ooh, it is windy and cold. What do you think, Blue? <laughs> Okay, dogs walked, chores are done. Uh, now it is time to do the last thing in my routine and that is to get on the bike uh, or do some yoga uh, and, and actually work out because I've got my clothes on and it's easy. I'm gonna do that and then it's shower and then it is time for work. All right, welcome back. So my morning routine is kind of long. It does take me an hour or two depending on how quick I'm moving. However, the two big things that I wanted to get in there that I wasn't getting in before, emptying the dishwasher and working out, I'm now doing on a regular basis. And the best part, no matter how the rest of my day turns out, if it's good, bad, productive, frustrating, I know I'll get to the end of the day and I will feel successful because of all the things that I accomplished first thing in the morning. Now, most of us know that whatever it is that we're avoiding will need to be done at some point. So why do we develop this annoying habit of leaving things for later? Habit stacking has been working really well for me, so I highly recommend it. Now, let me know in the comments, what habit would you love to introduce into your life? 